you're going to start by taking the wheel off. Take out the Torx bolt that holds on the rotor before you remove the caliper. Check the description below for all the tools that I use. The caliper bolts use a 6mm Allen key. Next I take a screwdriver and hammer it in between the rotor and the brake pad to spread the caliper open. Then we remove the caliper bolts the rest of the way. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. I forget about my brake pad sensor so I use a set of needle nose pliers to pull it out. If you're nice to your brake pad sensor then you're going to be able to reuse it. Next we're going to remove our caliper bracket bolts. With our bolts removed, go ahead and remove your caliper bracket. Take your old rotor off and put your new rotor on. Take the Torx bolt that was holding the old rotor in and use it to hold the new rotor on. We're going to reinstall our caliper bracket by threading in the top bolt first and then you're going to take Loctite and put it on the bottom bolt and thread it in. Then remove the top bolt again, put Loctite on it and then tighten everything down. Go ahead and install your new brake pads. If you wanna use the hardware that came with your new brake pads, go ahead, but a lot of times the old hardware fits better than the new hardware. When I'm putting my brake hardware onto the caliper bracket, it's very important to make sure that it's not rubbing against the rotor. Here you can see me using a screwdriver to tap the hardware out of the way because it was touching on my rotor. As I was reinstalling my caliper, I realized that I had not greased my caliper pins. If you don't grease your caliper pins, then your calipers will seize up and you're going to ruin your brakes and your rotors. I use silicone grease to grease my caliper pins. I forgot my brake pad sensor, so I had to take my caliper back off. Then when I was putting the caliper back on, I had to make sure that the brake pad sensor threaded through the caliper into its connector. Go ahead and reinstall your caliper pins. Once again, I am installing my top bolt partially, and then I'm loctiting my bottom caliper bolt, and then I'm installing that partially. I remove the top caliper bolt, put Loctite on it, reinstall it, tighten everything down. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and install our wheel. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Keep an eye up the hill, guys.